Oh god, we, we solved it! Oh my gosh, we solved it! We, we just solved the puzzle! I, I, dude, I think we beat the map! And welcome back to the finale for Under Olympus. Um, tell me if I heard this one before. I did peek at the solution, but only for this section right here up to about here. And maybe to here. So let me show you what happens here. So I wasn't even close on this little section right here. So there's a whole bunch of flipping back and forth with push buttons over here to get my robot on the proper side to look at that. We're very close. We are very, very close to solving this particular puzzle. So let's see here. So the all the all these at this point are still going the opposite direction. So the opposite direction that puts me here. So then I want to go this way, this way, round here, pick up the, I guess what's going to be the blue? It's going to be whatever that liquid is. Then we hit the push button and now we're in the correct orientation. So I want to go this way, this way, and then this way. All right, that looks pretty good so far. Uh, we're still in the correct, we're still, it'll still go the correct orientation. I'm going to go around here. Boom, push button. We're going in the opposite direction now. That looks great. And now we're going in the opposite direction. That should swing me up around here. Let's see. Really, it's just the after that whole grid fiasco over there, over here, this this part of the puzzle is not, the rest of this is not too terribly complicated. I say the rest of it isn't too terribly complicated, when in fact, I am an idiot. But we already knew that. There's going to be a lot of troubleshoot. I think there's still going to be a, a good chunk of troubleshooting left over for this map, or for this map to get it the rest of the way. Oh, that's looking beautiful. Mwah! Chef's kiss. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Nice, nice. Looking good, looking good. You can do it, little buddy. We'll speed her up there some. Yep, 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 yep. Noise. Uh, fast forward. Uh. 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 Nope, that it is not correct. Now the million dollar question. Do I just go right up this way? Drop off the final liquid? Because this one's gotta keep cycling through. Where did I go wrong? So I I'm pretty solid up to about this point here. So the big thing is, shit. I didn't like, I didn't keep track of what orientation shit was in. So right now this one is going clockwise, all right. So I gotta make sure I get my orientations correct. So this is when, so again, I, I love this map. It's been really fun. Having the hints has been really nice, or in my case, essential for getting through this map. What I think they need to do next is uh, they need like a little interface here that tells me how many times the buttons have been clicked. Because on bigger maps like this, where there's a lot going on, uh, you know, it could be, that's pretty essential to know. So that was going the wrong direction. So, so if I go right up here, yep, up here, yep, yep, 
Um, yes and yes. Well, let's see how that looks. At this point, it's just messing with this puzzle over here. And you know, I might have to divert down this one to get everything back into its original orientation, which is fine. Because this was the tough part over here. Now this little part of the puzzle is no problem. doing the easy part of the puzzle. It's still a lot of trial and error. I was actually very pleased that I got this whole getting the robots on the right part of the track correct-ish first shot, or correct-ish pretty quick. Now you see, I really like how they did the three robots on this, like, final level. Because the robots still act like their own independent entities on the map while still doing a... a uh, basically a collaborative process. Oh god, we, we solved it! Oh my gosh, we solved it! We, we just solved the puzzle! I, I, dude, I think we beat the map! Oh my gosh! Okay, so we'll we'll follow it the rest of the way here. So this guy's gonna drop off the final. There he goes. He's picking up the final block. Oh my god! I'm so happy. We solved the map. Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. We've been at this for 13 episodes. By the way, 13 episodes is unlucky for somebody, and for me, it's my sanity. My sanity is bupkis. It's gone. There's none of it left anymore. Oh my god, we solved this map. I'm so happy. Alright, let's watch this in action. He picks up... He picks up the pot... And that's one liquid. That's two liquid. Come on, baby. Come on. You can do it. All right. It's going to be a photo finish, ladies and gentlemen. Will he make it? He's rounding the bend. He's rounding the bend. He's at the turn. He's at the last turn. Yes! Oh my god. We're done! We're done! It's over! How are you doing, you beautiful bastard? Lay it on me, I'm the best. You did it, you saved Olympus. And you're still alive, of course. Naturally. Uh, you've managed to repair our malfunctioning systems, reboot their nuclear reactor while crashing only 240. 47 robots in total. You've also used eight hints in the process. Not bad. 247 robots? Or 45? Eight hints. Okay, I'm pretty pleased. I guess out of 20 some odd tracks, only using eight. That's not bad. Whoa. The new employee of the month. Oh yeah. Oh, it's finally over. All right, so let's talk about a review here. So now is the credits roll here, and I have, like, as I let my brain unwind, let's kind of give, so it's kind of like my review of the map. So all the mechanics were solid. The story was, was pretty good for a puzzle map. Um, I loved the puzzles themselves. Now, I do appreciate that there was hints all over the place for this so that if you got stuck uh, you weren't screwed. The only thing I didn't like was the dual robot levels. 
and now that could have just been me. I don't know how many people honestly got stuck on it. Actually, I'm not even sure how many people got get to that point of the map. Because uh, typically in, like, puzzle maps, you know, there's attrition as you go down. But, you know, it, I think it's fair to say that the dual robots were very hard to do without the hits. And that could just be because my brain can't think of like that, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But, anyways. Um, oh my god, I'm so happy we're finally done here. Um, but anyways, yeah, so... Um, overall, it was a phenomenal map. It was just those dual robot levels that were just absolutely nuts. Um, so, I... Love the map, love the series. I really hope to, I really hope to, that the Tater team continues making uh, maps. Um, I would, I don't know, I think in the future, I would love to see their take on just a straight up adventure map. Not a, necessarily a puzzle map, but a straight up adventure map similar to like the Diamond Sword RPG and that whole series from uh, Mick Five. Or I'd actually be curious to see them do, even do a, what their take on a, straight up a survival map would be i know sur i don't think survival maps are as popular today as they used to be but i'd be curious what their take is on a straight up on a straight up survival map uh this was a very unique uh, minecraft map experience for me most because this is like my first what i would call traditional puzzle map um, i'm used to doing i'm used to doing adventure maps that's definitely always been my bread and butter on the series you know some of my top videos being those adventure map walkthroughs for uh for Mick Five, but it was it was a it was a very awesome map. Uh, the creators were super interactive with me on the series, and that's something that I definitely appreciate when the creators are watching the are watching YouTube for makers for content creators making uh, videos of their maps. Because I did a couple, and you know I don't expect every content creator to be able to reach out on their maps and you know say hey thanks for doing my map, but it's definitely something that I greatly appreciate. And since I'll kind of go out on a limb and say this might is a uh, this map, uh, let's say has a smaller following, it's kind of nice that we can have that relationship with map creators on that have uh, smaller followings. So I definitely appreciated the interaction that uh, that the map creators uh, had on this. So, um, so I, and so that I'm not rambling too much longer. You know, overall, I would say hmm, if I were to give this map a rating, I would say. Uh, four bleakers out of a possible five. Four out of five. Nice job, guys. Uh, very good map. Uh, I had to ding you on the dual robots, but again, that could have just been me not being able to think of a, of a good solution for it, and I will definitely accept that. But, uh, yep, I will... Eight out of ten. Nice job, guys. I would happily do another map by them again, in a heartbeat. It was awesome. And I think this is their first map, too. So, uh, again... Uh, if you want to, if you want to check out, uh, check out this map, go download it for yourself. All the downloads are always in the description. Uh, shout out to the Tater team for a phenomenal, for a phenomenal, phenomenal, uh, map, you know, and, uh, I, I hope to see more content out of them in the future. So this has been the finale map of Under Olympus. Uh, when we come back next time, hopefully we'll have a new map all lined up. And we'll be continuing on in our Minecraft adventure series. But until then, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. Oi. Um, that's done. Oh, man, I'm gonna have... Uh, shoot, how long was that video? Save and quit. Do, 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 do. Quit game. Let's see here. Properties. 1.26 gigabytes. Not too bad. Poor computer's using up memory faster than I can. Ugh. Man, I need to get a new hard drive for this bad boy. Let's see what those fine gentlemen. Uh, what a journey, you're almost there. Thanks. We're pretty sure you're going to complete it on your next episode. Well, that was 10. I think I got a few more. Don't forget about the hidden button after you've completed the map for the extra challenge. What? Extra challenge.